Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. This is going to be my review for The Bachelorette Season 18, Episodes 4 and 5. This is four hours worth of content. Let me just preface this by saying I started watching Episode 4 yesterday on my live while I was doing my makeup. And I'm like an hour and 24 minutes in. I'm not going back to rewatch this and recap what's happened so far. Right now, we at Table Man getting a rose on his one-on-one -on -one date. That's where we are. That's where we're starting from. Clip. We'll get into if they repeat some of the stuff that's been said before. We'll get into it then. But I don't. I'm not going back. I'm just not. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much, and it's boring, and nothing really happened. So we're gonna move on from here. Yes. Yes, let's go. We are going to talk about this, her feeling. Let's discuss a little bit while they go through this stupid, I don't know why they keep doing this, serenaded by people, I, by copious white people that I don't know who they are or what song they singing. I feel like, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, so, let's discuss for a minute the fact that this baby felt like she was unseen on her own date and she's the bachelorette. Because I have felt that way. Like, I was literally on the sidelines at my own wedding. The day that it was supposed to be about me and my husband. And, like, my cousin literally came up to me and like, come on. You are literally on the sidelines of your own, at your own wedding. Good. Sometimes that comes, it's like an imposter syndrome. Like, you, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I have been there. It's hard to break into main character. Sometimes you don't have it in your social reserves. You just don't to, to have the main can, can, character energy that you need to dominate a space. And your natural position is just to be in the background. So I understand it. I understand where she was coming from. Okay, so can we discuss the fact that it's about to be a big ass drama for no reason for no reason um chris s comes out of the woodwork talk about did y'all understand i know i wasn't at the cocktail party but the girl said she didn't feel seen and i think i would have talked to her ba -ba 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 -ba. and this is at the cocktail party before the Rose syrup. Then he said something about Nate being confident um, about not getting a rose in that situation because he already knows he got a rose because he's so confident in what they got. And the way Chris made it come across is, is not the way that Nate was really coming across. And so now Nate is pissed and he, Jesus, he is about to, is pulling Chris S to the side and after he done talked to baby girl. And it's about to be, it's about to be a whole situation. This feels real manufactured, but okay. I'll allow it. So everybody is upset with Chris S. Cause he's trying to yet again, pull the shenanigans and with the tattletaling and everything that didn't work out well for Nate. So I don't know how Chris S. thinks this is going to work out well for him either, especially when he's telling half truths about things. That so all of the men in the house is like, you're a snake. You're doing too much. Blase boom, do the blue. He was like, well, it's the way I'm getting a rose tonight because I, because she said, I'm not going nowhere. Blase boom, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, you're not getting a rose. So you can pretty much tell you're just not gonna, that's not gonna be the case. And then Chris S told Olu, this dark chocolate baby. He got a rose already as well. Um, told him that when I get my rose, I'm going to look at you and wink. Uh, this one's for you, buddy. I have a feeling his face going to be cracked at the end of this, but I could be wrong. I, it would not be in his best interest for him to showboat. If he gets a rose, just get your rose and fall back in line, bro. Like I, feel, I have a feeling that it's going to come down to Nate and Chris S. 
and she's gonna pick me. Cause I feel like that the producers would want that for the dramatics of it all, but we gonna see. All right, she gave him a rose and now they're going to Minnesota. Okay. All right, then we're diving right into episode five. We going to Minnesota. We gonna, it looks like drama is going to ensue. Let's see. Somebody else is going to go down and try and take everybody down with them. So let's see what happens. There's air heating and plumbing. All right, so they're back in Minnesota. She's talking to her parents, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the guys show up. Oh, I want to get the date, blah, 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 blah. First, one on one date goes to Joe. Everybody's like, Joe? And then they're like, oh, he's from here, so he has an advantage, blah, blah, blah. They're going on a date. We'll see what happens. Fast forwarding through the commercials. Uh, okay, so she was still out on a date with Joe. they kissing and whatever, whatever. Uh, they went to play basketball. He lost horribly. How are you, Mr. Basketball? And you missed all the shots, sir. That's terrible. And you got beat by a girl in a short dress and heels. Sir! But it's cute. They're having fun, whatever. The guys are waiting to find out who's going on the group date. Everybody but Nate. Nate gets the second one-on-one. Chris is just like, like, I'm just so disappointed. I went out on a limb for her. Like, she owes him a one-on-one -on -one date. Nope. Shenanigans. We gonna see what happened. They supposed to meet her at the stadium. We gonna see what this group date is about. I wanna fast forward so bad. Jesus Christ. All right, Joe and her went on this date. He cried, she cried, they kissed, she gave him a rose. Then they went to the group date and they had to become the ultimate Viking. Child. Now, this ultimate Viking, they did, You know the game, the tuck with your hands and that. They did that and Chris lost and he's still in his feelings that Nate got the other one-on-one -on -one date and not him. He just knew telling all people was going to get him a one. Like, why would you think that? But that's ne neither here nor there. Uh, he's still in his feelings about everything. He lost to Olu in the hand-to-hand -hand situation. Uh, the big white boy won as the ultimate Viking. Now they're going to go take a shower and go to the after. They ate raw fish or salted fish or something it looked disgusting let's just put that out there it looked mm, like i don't want to now chris being in his feelings that he didn't get the group date wrong i mean it's seriously in his feelings like she didn't even come and check on me to see if i was okay after i went out on a limb and told her all of this Go sit down. Go home, Roger. Send her home. I feel like he's going to show his ass in a few minutes. That's what I feel like. I'm waiting on it. Like she owes him anything. Like, sir, go sit down. So while Chris stews in his feelings, and I guess he's going to talk to her during the um, cocktail party before the rose ceremony. We go on the one-on-one -on -one date with Nate. Her two best friends are there. They're on a boat. On Lake Minnetonka, and she's how and they talk, and you know, she's their friends are like, well, That's why she's here. She's looking for someone who's going to match her energy because normally it's been her doing the most and them not doing as much. So we'll see how that works out. She said they've had to purify themselves I'm trying to get through the, through the date with Nate. They can kiss, she can give him a rose or whatever, so we can get to this cocktail party so that boy can implode. Because that's where the drama is going to be at. He is really mad that she likes Nate. And he's like, and I've given her all these warnings. And she's turned a blind eye. Okay. Not this fool. <laughs> Deciding, fuck waiting for the cocktail party. I'm going to interrupt her one-on-one -on -one date with Nate. To, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't I don't know what you are expecting or what you... I don't, I don't understand what, what the point of this is. More drama. God. I warned you. Like, he is really mad. <laughs> 
that she gave that boy a one-on-one -on -one date after he warned him. She was said his warning. She really thought she was like, oh, well, let me just look at you then. You finna be the, you about to get escorted out, sir, is what's finna happen. That's what's going to, wow. <laughs> and he got put out. I could have told him that was going to happen. He was trying to force her to make the decisions that he want her to make, even though she doesn't see the same thing that he's seen. Child, because that's how he interpreted it, because he was trying to get ahead of somebody. No, sir. You saw Nate as your biggest competition. You tried to make a play and you played yourself. And now you're being escorted out of the game. Thank you so much for playing. Go along with the other idiots. I swear to God. Not you got put not only did you get put out, but she gave Nate the rose for their date and kissed him and said she's falling for him and she thinks he might be her person. That backfired so hard. <laughs> that backfired so hard. I'm just gonna say this one time more time and I'm then I'm not gonna then I'm not gonna touch on it again. I hate how they're dressing her. I hate it. I also hate her hair. And I know y'all say hate is a strong word. I hate it. I don't like it at all. At all. But I digress. Come on, let's kick whoever's gonna get kicked. Oh, they kicked off Leroy. <laughs> Leroy just been filling space this whole time. Leroy ain't been on. Listen, thank you, Leroy. We appreciate you because I still don't know where you came from. But this was this was a lot. This was a whole Jesus lot. Jesus Christ. I'm looking at this coming up for the rest of the season. Why the hell is everybody crying? Why is everybody crying? Everybody's super emotional. Jesus. Everybody crying. Everybody is crying. I can't. It's too much. Listen. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this has been my review and recap for The Bachelorette Season 18, Episodes 4 and 5. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kid, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.